Is sumo really cheating? Yeah. You know it is. Yeah, it is. It really is. Like if you see a guy doing sumo, you're like, that guy's dust or what? I mean, I try not to judge too much. People ask. <laughs> in your head, though. Out. In your head. In my head, yeah. yeah. I don't put that out. <laughs> if you're not pulling conventional, it doesn't count. Why do people consider sumo deadlift cheating? And do you? Well, they consider it cheating because it is cheating. Today we are talking about none other than the sumo deadlift, AKA people that are saying they're pulling 800 pounds, 700 pounds, 500 pounds, whatever the number. They're saying they're deadlifting these numbers, but they're leaving out the fact that they're doing it sumo because I wanna make the emphasis and drive this point home because I happen to be scrolling, whether that's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Shorts, Facebook, whatever platform you can find all the same videos. You know, they're pulling sumo, but the thing is they're pulling tension out of the bar, their legs are locking out and they're moving it maybe like, a half inch, maybe an inch if I'm being generous. And then th they're claiming that that's some insane PR, you know, it's 800 pound deadlift. But there is such a big difference between sumo and conventional. Now, I do wanna make the point that if you're doing an 800 pound sumo pull and you're actually getting a, an adequate amount off the ground, that's still impressive because let's be honest, majority of the planet isn't gonna be able to even move it off the floor at all. So it still deserves a round of applause. But what I wanna bring attention to is these people that then go into the gyms or they're in their social circle, their friend group, and they're saying that they're able to deadlift, you know, the said 800 pounds or whatever number you wanna throw out there. But I almost feel as though people need to throw out along with that phrase that like, yo, I'm doing it uh, sumo, bro, because there's a huge difference. If you notice that these people that are pulling, let's say for instance, 800 pounds sumo, if they were to go and do a conventional, they are doing a fraction of that weight. I think even Chris Bumstead recently was, saying that it doesn't count if you're pulling sumo. Is sumo really cheating? Yeah. All right. Is what? Nice. You know it is. Yeah, it is. It it's really what? is. Just in general. In general, it's just so, so easy, dude. Oh. It's the big like controversy in the- That's like a community. wide- stance yeah you know yeah, like you know legs. conventional okay. versus like sumo and mainly because of like clips that i've continued to find and one thing that always drives me crazy is i've even seen it myself in the gym not just on social media it's a, it's essentially ego lifting they're throwing so much weight on the bar and they're not even moving the weight they're just literally locking out their knees and then they're throwing it down and you know making a huge scene in the gym like they they're larry wheels or they're half thor and they're breaking world records Fucking easy. bro just calm down calm down please it'd be very similar as if someone was you know saying a pr or a personal best on the smith machine bench press and then also let's say they like, threw on resistance bands that helped assist them in it you know strapped it around the top and then around the bar to pull off even more weight and then let's say they also had two spotters on the side that are also helping assist and lift the bar up and down off your chest then those people then you know go to their friend group or social media and say that they're bench pressing raw bench pressing whatever number 500 600 700 pounds when realistically people are going to assume that they're doing a traditional lift no assistance no spotter no any type of gear or anything helping you out just you know raw strength but i also don't want to pull away from yeah if you're doing an 800 900 pound sumo pull of course it's impressive because nobody's really gonna be, or majority of the people aren't gonna be able to pull that weight anyway but it's just so much more impressive when i see people in the gym let's say you have a 700 pound sumo and then you have a 700 pound conventional, 10 times out of 10, I'm gonna be way more impressed with the conventional pull than I ever am of the sumo. In fact, if you did maybe even like 200 pounds less, with conventional, I'm still more impressed with the conventional. I'm gonna be honest. I just really want to make this video to rant <laughs> because I'm sure there's a lot of people that feel the same way. Maybe you're on the other side of the screen though and you're a sumo lifter and you're super offended right now and you're gonna leave some comment down below. That's totally fine as well. You're entitled to do that. But I, I do feel like I speak for a lot of people, especially because I go with the comment sections of these videos and I notice it's a very common trend. You know, they say it doesn't count or someone will be like, yo, I just sumo pulled 500 pounds for two reps and then the comments will be like, Bro, I didn't even see a single rep done. And I couldn't agree more. Essentially what this video all boils down to, if you want to impress people in the gym or you want to impress your friends for whatever reason on social media, pull conventional. It's much more impressive. You can actually claim it then. Do it legit. Don't make a scene in the gym if you're pulling sumo and just locking out your knees. And especially because you're also stealing all the weights. A lot of these gyms are smaller complexes with not a lot of 45 pound plates and you're stealing them all just to do this little circus stunt of locking out your knees. So I guess I'll, I'll stop renting. But please, sumo doesn't count. Conventional does. Stop pulling sumo.